Hello, welcome to another flashback playable demonstration 1.00 for the Akon computers. Uh, Akon computers, they were doing like this BBC Micro thing. Akon, Archimedes, Akon, Electron. Well, anyway, it was a computer made here in the UK and they also did quite a lot of games for that. Also done the Amiga demo for flashback and there isn't a lot of difference between the two versions but there are some so I'm gonna try and make this as entertaining as I can. We still do not have any audio during the cinematic sequences. I'm not sure if that's the emulator I'm using or just because it takes up too much space. We've been here. I'm gonna show you straight away that obviously there is no code to start with so Pressing the escape key, we can actually have a very interesting manual. It says sound full of one fourth, half, three quarters. And the same goes for music. You can, you know, normally it's like with sliders, obviously, but back in the day we didn't have sliders, so it was just, you know, three fourth, a quarter. Signs or scenes, that's probably the cinematic sequences where you can view all, most, some. We're going to leave it at all. And the intro is on, but we have no save points. And we can leave the game, but that's the in game menu that is slightly different, of course, from the full version. The hollow cube we're going to pick up. Animations are exactly the same or perhaps slightly different color, I don't know. I'm gonna try and make it past our first obstacle here, which is possible by just keeping running it. We see here another guard. Now, I want to point out that in all these different versions of Flashback, you can actually see which version you are playing by looking at the color of the coat of these guards. I believe in the PC version, the coat is more brownish. In the Amiga version, it's definitely more purplish. Obviously, here it's more greenish. And in the Sega CD version, it's actually pinkish. And the Sega CD is also uh, one of my favorite versions of this game because it's got the soundtrack. Anyway, I'm gonna try and be as peaceful as I can by not killing too many guards with the gun. But we are gonna pick up the credits. Again, it's uh, 10 credits. And it says there C... C70? Or was that a 7 or was that a 1? I'm not... I'm never sure. But I'll find out one day. In this screen, we're actually going to try and see if we can find a different way to approach the scene than last time. So here's the cartridge. And one of the differences I found out is that when we have a look at the cartridge in the inventory, it's, uh, it's not charged, but I could swear it was when I played it the other day. Oh. I actually don't want to shoot this guard, so what I'm going to try and do is see if I can jump in his direction. No, that didn't work. One other thing I found out is that these electrified fields aren't actually as dangerous if you run over them, see? 
It's only when you stop that they become lethal. Anyway, the recharging point for our shield. And for the cartridge. We can actually enter the or exit the demo already, but uh, don't want to do that just yet. Just want to get shot a few more times. Like I said, I was going to try and do my best not to shoot any guards, so I'm just going to give them a little bit of a concussion. Now, I always wondered if I could make that jump like that, but apparently I can't. Attacked by mutants and I can't walk. Find my teleporter. I need urgent medical assistance, and that is um, what we're going to do. What is he doing there? Yeah, well, I already showed you in my last video what's up there. Nothing really. So we're just going to get the bridge charged over here. I need a fully charged magnetic cartridge. That's good to know, but didn't I just charge it? Well, I guess I did. Yeah, sorry little buddy. I had to kill you. It wasn't my intention, but this brings us to the end of the demo. This is well done. You have completed the first part of level one. The flashback world consists of seven levels, each offering its own unique graphic and hazards linked by cinematic animation sequences. Flashback for Acorn Archimedes and Risk PC available in June. Available now for IBM PC, Sega Mega Drive, Commodore Amiga, Super Nintendo, coming soon on Atari Jaguar, CDI and 3DO. Yes, this game was ported to a lot of different consoles and platforms, but um, yeah, I thought I'd show you the uh, demo of the Archimedes. So it's game over for now. And goodbye.